Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? How do you feel? Hi. I am fine. I am fine. And you? Ah, I'm very well. Oh, somebody said sick. Angela, are you sick? Hello, teacher. Hello, good Angela. Good evening. Are you sick? Are you sick? Um, I know. <laughs> Like, or I, I don't know, or, or fever, or are you sick? Um, or... I, I, I don't know. No. Uh, no, no, you are okay. Uh -huh, okay. I, I am I okay. okay. You see. I am okay. Yes, 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 teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay. Welcome, then. So, welcome, uh, everybody. So, let's see. Yeah, I see Carla Vasquez, right? So, how are you doing, Carla? Yeah. I am Carla Vázquez. I work at Ericsson El Salvador. Uh, I am a, a, a local administration at Ericsson. Uh, I live at Zaragoza. What more? <laughs> oh, only that. Uh, that's a lot of information. Uh, that's really good. Uh, thank you. Thank okay. you for thank you for sharing your your information. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Very okay. good. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. By the way, uh, I will introduce myself in a moment, right? But by the way, my name is Bernardo Martinez. I guess, I guess you had a presentation about me, maybe or about the course, right? But my name is Bernardo Martinez. Okay. And I am really happy to be your your facilitator in this course. Okay. So welcome, welcome to this to this course module five right module five okay yeah i guess i just have a question okay just just before we we start um where you when when did you study module four when did you study module four a month ago like two months ago or last month when Last month. Last month. Okay, excellent. Yeah. What about the others? And the others? Two weeks. Two weeks ago. Okay, two weeks yes. ago. All right. Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, what about the others? I, I have this question because sometimes, right, sometimes um, you like, like, like you have some time and you don't study English and then you you start the process of studying English again, okay? And this question is very, very important because in this way, I know if you studied module four uh, two weeks ago, or if you studied module four like many weeks ago or many months ago, maybe, okay? So that's very, very important okay good so tell me when did you study module four when did you study module four when last week two weeks ago last month last month okay. last month yeah we are on the same page last month and the others oh maria stella says last month okay yeah yeah the micro the microphone is off maria estela the mic you need to turn on the microphone <laughs> okay <teacher. laughs> but, but i saw you. but i saw your mouth okay <laughs> it's okay <laughs> what about you miguel when did you yeah. study module four uh, two weeks ago yeah it's we are on the same page Estamos en la misma página. we are on the same page all right, Angela. Okay. Angela de Jesus. Hello, teacher. Hello. When did you study module four? When did Hi, you study? Hello. When did you study Hello. module um, four? The last month or 
When? The last month. The last month. Okay, good. It's excellent. Well, Maria Sela said the last month, right? Darwin? Hi, Darwin. Hi, teacher. Hello. In my case, the last month. The last month, the same. We are on the same page. Okay, thank you, Darwin. Sulma uh, Rosaura? Hello. In Hello. The last month, too. All right, excellent. Same page. Asalia Melanie? When did you study module four? Is the question I have in this moment, all right? Asalia Melanie? Hi, teacher. Good Hello. Evening. Good evening. Uh, the question we are discussing is when did you study module four? When did you study yes. module four? The last month or two weeks ago or when? Last, last month. Last month. Okay, we are on the same page. Adriana, thank you. Adriana Martinez? Good evening, teacher. The last month, too. Ah, the last month. Okay, thank you. Good evening. Good. Ada Patricia? Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good the evening. Last month. Good. Excellent. We are on the same page. Jancy Lisbeth? Good evening. Good evening. The last month. The last month. Sandra Gladys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, the last month. Good, excellent. Flor de Maria. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Flor de Maria. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. The last month. Good, excellent. Mayra mm -hmm. Melanie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. The last month. Good. Ana Michelle. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. The last month. Good. Rosa Elena. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. I don't know the answer, the, the question, but I don't the, know the, the question, the, but the question The question is, when did you study module four? No, the last one. The la oh, yeah, it is the same answer. Yeah. There. Thank you very much. Yeah. Os okay. Osmin Baires? Teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. The last month. Ah, the last month. Good. Who said teacher? Somebody yeah. said teacher. Carla, uh, right? Yes, Carla? Teacher. Yeah? Yes. R really, all team was together in the formal. All, all the team was in the together? Yes. Oh, really? I yes. didn't know. I'm asking because yeah. I didn't know. Thank you. So <laughs> it is basically the same people in the previous module. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. That's excellent. I like it because you know each other very well. So it's me then that I need to that I need to know you. Okay. Thank you very much, Carla. So basically, everybody the last month, right? Everybody. Okay. So uh, Nelson, Rafael, yes. Ophelia, and Stephanie. So you answer my question. Thank you very much, Carla. Good. So uh, everybody. So I want to say um, welcome to this to this class. Basically, it's module five, okay? And my name is Bernardo Martinez Segovia, okay? My end, you can, you can call me Bernardo, okay? No problem. Bernardo, it's okay, all right? Or mister, if you want, okay? But for me, it's okay if you call me Bernardo, okay? No problem, okay? There's no problem, okay? Very good. So okay. let, me pass, let me pass the attendance quickly. Um, Ada Patricia? Present. Adriana? Present, teacher. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela de Jesus? Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie? Present, teacher. Good. Darwin? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Flor? Thank you very much. Gloria? Gloria? Here. Okay, okay, thank you. Carla? Present. Thank you very much. Margarita? Present. Okay, thank you very much. Maria Estela? Present, teacher. All right. May Mayra? 
Present. Thank you. Nelson? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Ophelia? Here teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Osmin? Here teacher. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, Rafael. Do we have Rafael? No? Okay. Uh, Rosa? Rafael Ernesto. Present. Yes. Teacher, excuse me. Rafael. Sí, Rafael Ernesto. I'm Rafael Ernesto. Okay, okay. Good. Okay. okay. Uh, Rosa? Okay, perfect. Present. Thank you. Sandra? Present teacher. Jansi? Present teacher. Okay, okay. Jansi? Present. Eh, Zulma? Present. And finally, Miguel? Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. All right, everybody. So um, thank you for answering, okay? So now, uh, basically, I, I, need, I need to give some instructions in Spanish, okay? Uh, but these instructions are very important. Maybe you can tell me, but listen, Bernardo, we listen to these instructions uh, on module four. You can tell me, right? But, uh, but I have to repeat these instructions, okay? Because these instructions are very, very important, okay? So let me give you the instructions about um, module number, um, number five quickly. I, I just have a question before. I just have a question before. Um, ¿Cómo les hablaba el maestro anterior? ¿Les hablaba un poco rápido, así más o menos lento? ¿O cómo les hablaba? Así para ver más o menos cómo puedo mostrar la voz. ¿Cómo así les hablaba? como nos estaba hablando. Normal, así como les estoy hablando. Normal. Un poco, un poco normal. Un poco más lento. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. I mean... Pregunto porque no, no, o sea, no quiero que se sientan incómodos también, ¿verdad? Por, tal vez por la rapidez, porque a veces hablo demasiado rápido y se me olvida, ¿ok? No hay forget. So, y si me dicen que así más o menos de la velocidad en que les hablaba, yo puedo modularla un poquito, ¿ok? La voz, la, 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 la velocidad en la que hablo, ¿ok? Ya. Yeah. So, si siente que estoy hablando demasiado rápido, tell me, hey, Bernardo, you're speaking too fast. Tell me, ¿ok? Dígame, por favor, tell me, please, ¿ok? Con confianza me pueden decir, ¿ok? Muy bien. Eh, la siguiente. Okay, Thank you. Okay, okay. Eh, muy bien. Entonces le voy a dar algunas instrucciones y esto sí se lo voy a dar en, en español porque es muy, <coughs> perdón, es muy importante, ¿ok? Muy bien. Vamos entonces. Por aquí tengo una PPT. Necesito, ok, let me maximize it. Muy bien. Eh, eh, básicamente lo que tenemos aquí son algunas generalidades, ¿ok? Eh, les voy a hacer la presentación. Si tienen alguna duda, eh, con, eh, me, puede, me pueden preguntar, ¿ok? Con confianza me pueden preguntar al respecto. Muy bien. Eh, básicamente eh, sabemos que eso es inglés para el trabajo y estamos en el nivel básico y estamos en el módulo 5, ¿ok? Module 5, ¿ok? Muy bien, por aquí está. Esto soy yo por aquí, si me miran en esta foto. Eh, bueno. Es importante, nos han dicho que demos un pequeño, una pequeña, este, sí, como una pequeña hoja de vida, sí, información acerca de nosotros como facilitadores, ¿ok? Así que por aquí sí, tienen alguna, ¿sí? Es, es el nivel principiante. Correctamente, ajá, nivel ¿verdad? principiante. Exactamente, ah. nivel principiante, sí. Ok, muy bien, eh, básicamente eh, aquí está la, la formación académica, eh, acerca de la tecnología, la carrera que, que estudié en la universidad. Eh, bueno, aquí el manejo de todas las, las, las plataformas que uso, programas de Office, eh, y aquí las diferentes plataformas, Moodle, Canvas, Schoology, Google Classroom, y ahora actualmente con la plataforma de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Por supuesto, ¿ok? Eso es respecto al, a la formación académica y, y, y programas que se manejan. Acerca de la experiencia laboral, para que conozcan un poquito acerca de mí, bueno, basic, básicamente eh, estuve trabajando como coordinador de una universidad del Oriente, que es de la Universidad de Oriente, de la UNIVO, quizás tal vez han escuchado, eh, del Departamento de Idiomas, ¿verdad? Facilitador del idioma inglés en el programa Supérate también, que tal vez han escuchado algunos, ¿ok? 
eh, facilitador de inglés en ITCA San Miguel, eh, también en ITCA Megatec La Unión, y facilica, facilitador de cursos de inglés para maestros en MINED también, y formador en el MINED, ¿ok? Eso es para que conozcan un poco acerca de, acerca de mi persona, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Perdón? Eh, bueno, básicamente, si, 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 si de, de, acerca de mi, de mi experiencia como, como profesor, eh, tengo alrededor de 10 años trabajando como maestro de, de inglés, ¿verdad? Así que básicamente eso es respecto a la información, la información personal. Eh, bueno, ahora hablemos acerca de algunos eh, requisitos, algunos requisitos del, del curso, de este, de, este, de este módulo específicamente, ¿ok? Eh, bueno, es importante, por ahí había algunos que están conectados y no tienen nombre completo, ¿ok? Su nombre debe estar de acuerdo a cómo aparece en el DUI. Sus dos nombres, si tienen dos nombres y sus dos apellidos, ¿ok? Esto es muy importante, muy importante porque cuando se registra asistencia, eh, se toma el nombre completo, ¿ok? Y esto, esto lo hace básicamente Zoom de una vez, ¿ok? Ahí le registran los minutos y todo. Así que es importante que se conecten con nombre completo siempre. No solo con un nombre, por ejemplo, si mi nombre es Bernardo Martínez Segovia, no voy a poner solamente Bernardo Martínez, ¿ok? Nombre completo como aparece en DUI. En el caso de que usted esté en, en, en calidad de oyente, ¿ok? Que no es menos hago la aclaración, eh, debe agregar la palabra oyente en paréntesis, ¿ok? En caso que sea en calidad de, de oyente, si este es el caso, ¿verdad? Y lo que siempre se dice, su cámara debe estar encendida durante toda la sesión, ¿ok? Es un requisito no mío, no de inglés corporativo, es un requisito de INSAFOR, porque si ellos, ellos hacen el monitoreo, quieren asegurarse de que la persona que está reflejando el nombre ahí es realmente la persona que ellos quieren, que ellos quieren ver, ¿verdad? Así que es importante que, que tengamos la cámara encendida durante la sesión, ¿ok? Eh, a veces, yo sé que algunos, tal vez, es raro, ¿verdad? Que esto pase, pero yo sé que algunos a veces van de trabajar bien noche y van conduciendo y a veces me... Pero hacen mención, ¿ok? No es solo por tener la cámara apagada, ¿verdad? Pero estos casos son bien, bien mínimos, ¿ok? Así que si ese es el caso, me lo hacen saber, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, básicamente, eso es muy importante también, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. A veces, ya sea mi persona o un compañero de ustedes está, está participando, así que debemos tener cuidado de tener el micrófono apagado para que no, para que no haya algún tipo de, de interrupciones, ¿ok? Eh, participación activa es un requisito, ¿ok? Que deben estar participando activamente para que esta, esta clase se vuelva se vuelva súper, súper bonita, ¿verdad? Porque eso depende de su participación. Si todos están calladitos, es como que Ok, como que solo yo hablo y a mí no me gusta hablar mucho, a mí me gusta más que ustedes trabajen, ¿ok? En vez de hablar mucho en este caso. Lo hago solo cuando es necesario, hay, hay alguna explicación que hay que dar o alguna instrucción, mientras tanto ustedes son los que, los que trabajan, ¿ok? Ahorita estoy hablando bastante porque les estoy dando las instrucciones, pero no es este el caso de mi persona, ¿ok? Para que estemos claros. Muy bien, eh, por acá tenemos alguna otra información también. Bueno, la asistencia... Eh, se pide que tengan asistencia al 100% de las clases. Alguno me puede decir, no, pero con el 80% puedo pasar el, el módulo. Eso es cierto. Solo les voy a dar un consejo nada más. El consejo es el siguiente. En las primeras clases, las primeras semanas, traten de estar conectados siempre, siempre, siempre. Si hay alguna emergencia en la última clase, por ejemplo, ok, fácilmente pueden decir, yo, he, yo no he faltado para nada. Tengo una emergencia, puede ser que alguien se puso grave en, la familia, grave en la familia, perdón, o que tal vez están enfermos y van para el seguro. Fácilmente dicen, yo tomo el día, ¿verdad? Tengo una emergencia en este momento. Pero, ¿qué pasa si empezamos a faltar desde las primeras clases? Ya vamos con desventaja, ¿verdad? Por supuesto, imagínense, se presenta una emergencia al final del módulo. O sea, y el detalle es que acá yo, les, ese, yo, yo no estoy autorizado para dar permiso. Y imagínense, me dicen a mí, mire, fíjense que voy a faltar tal día, pero ya no le da. Es decir, ya, ya, ya tienen la asistencia mínima, ya llegaron al 80% y necesitan ese día, ¿cómo van a hacer? Entonces, el consejo es, o la sugerencia es, que las primeras tres semanas estén al 100. Y si la última clase, se le, o las últimas clases, una de la un día de la última semana se les presenta una emergencia, adelante, con libertad pueden tomar el día, ¿ok? Eh, eso es importante porque quien, al final... No se puede decir, yo voy a poner asistencia, yo no voy a poner asistencia a esta persona, porque al final se hace en base al tiempo que usted se conecta a la plataforma, ¿ok? Así que esto es muy importante que quede, 
que quede claro. Así que eh, deben cumplir con la clase completa, no es solamente conectarse media hora. Porque si se conecta media hora, solo le cuenta media hora nada más. Si se conecta una hora, solo una hora le cuenta nada más. Si se conectó a las 8 y 10, a las 8 y 5, ya le va restando 5 o 10 minutos. Así se mide la asistencia aquí, básicamente, para que estemos claros, ¿ok? Así que tratemos de estar conectados a más tardar a las 8, o si no, dos minutos, un minuto antes, para que no nos, eh, no, no nos vaya limitando esos minutos, ¿verdad? Por supuesto. Así que, eh, bueno, la asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones, a las 8, a las 9 y a las 9.55, ¿ok? Aproximadamente. A veces puede variar un poquito, pero no es la gran, no es la gran cosa, ¿ok? Y, por supuesto, se toma como válida al momento que ustedes me dicen presente o present o I'm here o over here. Aquí en ese momento yo tomo la, la asistencia, ¿verdad? Cámara encendida cuando les paso asistencia, por supuesto, no solo la voz. Eh, sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Todos tienen el derecho, ¿ok? Aquí en estas sesiones uno a uno tienen 10 minutos cada sesión. Ya les voy a dar la calendarización, ¿ok? Cada quien tiene 10 minutos, un día específico para que usted pueda aclarar cualquier duda acerca de la, de la clase, de un tema, de vocabulario, de pronunciación, lo que usted quiera respecto a la, a la clase, ¿ok? Esos minutos usted los tiene por derecho de 10 de la noche a 10 y 10, ¿ok? Así que eh, ya le voy a dar la programación en un, en un momentito, ¿ok? Eh, recuerdo permisos no disponibles. Yo no estoy autorizado para decirle, sí, le doy permiso de no faltar a la clase, ¿ok? <coughs> Y quizás puedo sonar un poco duro cuando les digo que no estoy autorizado para dar permisos, porque a veces ustedes a quien vienen primero es al maestro cuando les pasa algo, ¿verdad? Y le informan de que, de que no van a poder asistir a la clase porque van a salir tarde del trabajo, porque el, a veces tal vez el jefe los dejó que hicieran algún reporte o alguna razón. Pero la verdad es que a mí me pueden informar nada más. Yo lo tomo como que me informaron, pero no estoy autorizado para darle permiso a nadie, incluso... Déjenme decirles que en inglés corporativo está autorizado para darles permisos porque aquí directamente es INSAFOR, ¿ok? Ellos son, a ellos, son que se, ellos son los que miran el reporte de, de asistencia, ¿ok? Así que no, no estamos autorizados para hacerlo. Claro, usted me puede informar, mire, mire ese, le informo que ese día no voy a faltar por, por tal y tal razón, ¿ok? Está bien, perfecto, ¿ok? Si me informa, pero no, no pidiéndome permiso porque no estoy autorizado para darle permiso, ¿ok? Muy bien, eh, básicamente eso es respecto a los, a los permisos y hablemos ahora de las tareas y las evaluaciones. Bueno, creo que todos saben aquí es de su conocimiento que para que ustedes puedan aprobar el módulo hay tres requisitos fundamentales, ¿ok? Tenemos el requisito de la asistencia, que no deben faltar menos del 80% durante el módulo, eso incluye minutos. El requisito de las tareas, que también en los exámenes y tareas deben sacar un, eh, deben obtener un 80% como mínimo, ¿ok? Lo ideal, es, a mí me gusta que siempre todos saquen 100%, ¿ok? Así que apunten al 100%, no al 80%, ¿ok? Eh, bueno, y también que, que la, 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 la prueba que hacen al final, ¿verdad? La encuesta de satisfacción también es un requisito importante para que ustedes puedan aprobar el, el módulo. Las tareas siempre se encuentran en la plataforma. Ustedes pueden ir en avanzado, no hay ningún problema, ¿ok? Pueden ir avanzando, avanzando y avanzando y no hay ningún problema. El problema es que se retrasen, ¿ok? Pero usted puede ir avanzando todo lo que quiera en las tareas. Eh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a medianoche. Es decir, las tareas de esta semana, de lunes a viernes, deben estar comple completas a más tardar el día viernes antes de medianoche. Yo sugiero que las completen entre el lunes y el jueves para que así el día viernes yo termino mi sesión, termino la sesión uno a uno y luego yo me quedo pasando las notas ya de un solo y el sábado nos quedamos tranquilos todos sin que yo les esté contactando para, para decirles que me manden que, que completen una tarea que le falta, ¿ok? Así que la sugerencia es que el día viernes antes de la sesión que ya estén completas las, las tareas, ¿verdad? Para que no me retrase yo y así no estoy yo como escribiéndoles directamente a ustedes también que le falta alguna que le falta alguna tarea, ¿ok? Eh, la fecha límite para terminar el examen medio, saben que tenemos dos exámenes, uno después de las primeras dos semanas y el otro al final de las cuatro semanas, ¿ok? Eh, básicamente, la fecha límite para terminar el examen de las primeras dos semanas, el midterm, es el viernes 16 de julio. Siempre, siempre antes de terminar la, la clase o antes de la medianoche, por supuesto, ¿verdad? 
Y la fecha límite para terminar el final sería el 30 de julio, que es el día que estaríamos finalizando módulo primero Dios, ¿ok? Si todo sale bien, si no hay ningún retraso, ese día estamos finalizando el módulo, el módulo 5. Yo creo, el manual ya lo mandaron ahí a, 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 al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Creo que les cayó a, a todos, todos estaban en el grupo, pero de igual manera, si usted no lo tiene aún, puede descargarlo de la plataforma, como siempre, va ahí a la parte que dice manual del estudiante, y ahí lo puede descargar en, en PDF, ¿ok? Muy bien. Uh, ¿Sí? Yo no estoy en ningún grupo de WhatsApp, no sé si lo tenemos compañeros. Ni yo. Ok, vaya. No, ni eh... yo, ticho. Vaya, de Demen, vamos a ver ahorita, Nio, vamos a ver quién es Adriana. ¿No está en el grupo de WhatsApp? No. No, vaya, le voy a poner un chequecito aquí para informar entonces. Adriana, ¿quién más? ¿No? Stephanie Mengíbar, Contreras. Margarita, Stephanie. Ok, Margarita, aquí la tengo como Margarita. Restada. Ok, ¿quién más? Miguel Jiménez. ¿Perdón? Miguel Jiménez. Miguel, vamos a ver, Miguel... <coughs> En el correo que les mandaron con la contraseña y, la, y el número de la reunión iba el enlace para unirnos al WhatsApp. A eso, a eso, ajá. a eso iba. Gracias, gracias, Carla. Eh, no sé si recibieron el correo, el correo todos, ahí donde les manda la información, toda la información. Ah, ok, por favor, entonces vaya, ahí les mandan el enlace siempre del, del WhatsApp, ok. Así que ahí hacen clic en el enlace. Perdón. Y automáticamente se redirecciona. Automática, automáticamente se redirecciona a unirse al grupo, ¿verdad? Así que ahí se une al grupo y si aún así tienen algún problema, entonces ahí me lo hacen. Me lo hacen saber. Adriana, no sé si ya intentó hacerlo. Adriana. Ahorita, Listo. teacher. Ahorita. Ok, Margarita. Ya, no había leído. Miguel. Sí, lo siento. Okay. Ahorita, ok, muy bien. Si tienen Ahorita. algún problema ahí me lo hacen, me lo hacen saber entonces, ok. Por favor, pero sí, siempre se manda el enlace al, allá a un correo. Muy bien, eh, vamos entonces a la, respecto a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Siempre es importante estar pendientes del botón de silencio, o de, ahí aparece como un, como un micrófono. Entonces es importante que estemos pendientes, si no estamos participando, que lo mantengamos apagado, por favor, ¿ok? Y si queremos dar una opinión, lo encendemos rápidamente, damos la opinión y luego lo apagamos otra vez para que no haya interferencia, ¿ok? Eh, la cámara debe estar encendida siempre. Así como aparece esta pantallita que aparece aquí, miren, de esa laptop, así deben estar todas las cámaras encendidas. Se debe, ver, se debe ver el rostro de todo, así como aparece ahí, ¿ok? Deben estar encendidas sus cámaras. Igual en el chat, a veces vamos a estar haciendo algunas actividades o cualquier consulta también. Si no quieren encender el micrófono, lo pueden hacer por el chat. Automáticamente yo puedo ver también, ¿ok? Eh, breakout rooms, esto es muy importante. A veces vamos a estar haciendo actividades de equipo en los breakout rooms, ¿ok? Así que en el momento que yo los redireccione a los breakout rooms, algunos a veces se les olvida darle, darle entrar o hacer clic en entrar, ¿ok? ¿O cómo es que les aparece cuando, cuando los redireccionan a breakout rooms? ¿Cómo les aparece a ustedes? Entrar. Unirse a Unirse. salas pequeñas. Unirse a salas pequeñas, ¿ok? Muy bien, entonces siempre no olviden hacer clic en, en unirse a salas pequeñas, ¿verdad? Y ya cuando estamos en breakout rooms, si alguien tiene algún problema, ya, en la, en la, ya estando dentro de la sala pequeña, pueden hacer clic en el botón Ask for Help o pedir ayuda, ¿ok? Ask for Help o pedir ayuda. Muy bien, básicamente, yo sé que, yo sé que algunos, yo sé que todos ya saben esas generalidades, ¿verdad? Pero siempre eh, se nos recomienda que las demos porque a veces se nos olvida, a veces hay que reflejarlas otra vez. Así que no sé si tienen alguna pregunta al respecto. Creo que todo es igual, ¿verdad? Pero si tienen alguna pregunta, pueden hacerlo ahorita. Con, confi eh, con confianza pueden hacerlo. Antes de que cambiemos a inglés. <ríe> pueden hacerlo en español ahorita si tienen alguna pregunta, ¿ok? So, you don't have... No, teacher. Todo claro, ¿verdad? Esto siempre se da cada, cada módulo, ¿ok? Así que básicamente esas son las las gener... Si sí, alguien iba a preguntar algo, ¿no? No, teacher, gracias. Ok, muy bien. Eh, bueno, ahora vamos, aquí sí quiero que tomen notas, ¿ok? En ese momento les voy a dar el listado y las fechas en que les, en que les corresponde su sesión privada. Vaya, miren, escuchen. 
o la sesión uno a uno, llamémosle así, porque sesión privada se escucha un poquito, un poquito raro, ¿ok? Sesión uno a uno, llamémosle. El día que les toca la sesión uno a uno, si usted por A o B razón no puede conectarse, infórmeme con tiempo, ¿ok? Si ese día no se puede conectar a su sesión uno a uno, dígame con tiempo, así para yo poder conectar a otra persona y no estar, digamos, sin nadie en la sesión uno a uno, ¿ok? Si está seguro que va a faltar, dígame con tiempo y tal vez podemos agregar a la persona que le corresponde el siguiente día y hacen el cambio, ¿ok? Podemos hablar con la otra persona o con una persona que le toque, digamos, los, los, los días que vienen. Pero es importante que me lo informen, pero la idea es que no se pierda esta sesión uno a uno, ¿ok? Así que informen, por favor. Eso es importante, que informen siempre. Muy bien. Respecto a las sesiones uno a uno, ahí, aquí sí tomen notas, ¿ok? Aquí sí tomen tomen notas. Oh my God. Muy bien. Oh, déjenme mover esto un poquito. Vale, por aquí tenemos el, los horarios. Muy bien, ¿pueden ver el horario? Yes. Yes. Muy bien. Queda de esta man manera, ¿ok? A Salia Melanie le toca este día la sesión uno a uno, ¿ok? Así que de 10 a 10 de la noche a Salia Melanie no se debe desconectar, ¿verdad? Se queda conectada. Solo ella, los demás sí deben desconectarse, ¿ok? Porque no, deben haber más de, no debe haber más de una persona en la sesión uno a uno. Zulma Rosaura, el día martes 6 de julio. Tomen okay. nota, ¿ok? Adriana, el día miércoles 7 de julio. Ofelia, jueves 8. Mayra Melanie, viernes 9. Carla Verónica, lunes 12. Flor de María, martes 13. Osmín Baires, miércoles 14. Yes, yes, ok. Ok, excelente. Sandra Gladys, el jueves 15. Rosa Elena, viernes 16. Darwin Edgardo Ayala, lunes 19. Margarita Estefan, el martes 20. Gloria Elizabeth, miércoles 21. Ada Patricia, el jueves 22. Nelson Edgardo, el viernes 23. Viernes 23. Ángela de Jesús, lunes 26, Ana Michelle, martes 27, María Estela, miércoles 28, Rafael Ernesto, jueves 29 y Yancy Lisbeth, el viernes 30. ¿Ok? ¿Tenemos la fecha todos? Así es. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, excelente. Tengamos la fecha en un lugar visible porque a veces nos olvida el día que nos toca, ¿ok? Así que yeah. si tienen la copia o en una libreta, si es posible, péguenla ahí con un tirro, ¿ok? O en su agenda, péguenla en un tirro ahí, en un lugar visible, para que andemos pendientes siempre de esa fecha, porque mayormente a los que les toca ya de último, a veces como que se les olvida la fecha que les corresponde, ¿verdad? Y siempre se hace el recordatorio, pero lo ideal es que no, que no se esté haciendo ese recordatorio, sino que ustedes ya tienen la fecha, ¿verdad? Rápidamente ya sabe que ese día le corresponde y solo nos quedamos de una vez, ¿ok? Muy bien. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta acerca del nivel antes de que vayamos a la clase. O todo, todo claro, todo bien. Que... Muy bien, uno a la vez, uno a la vez. Sí, quizás para... Para los que no, estamos en el no estábamos en el grupo de WhatsApp, podrían reenviar el libro. Sí, yo se lo puedo reenviar, no hay ningún problema, yo lo tengo descargado. A ver. Yo lo voy a reenviar Gracias. otra vez. O oh, okay. igual, ¿verdad? Que está en, el, en, en la página. Correctamente, en la plataforma, curso. ahí donde dice manual del ah. estudiante, ahí lo pueden descargar también, no hay ningún problema. Okay. Ya se lo reenvié okay. al WhatsApp. Ah, muchas oh, gracias. gracias. Thank you very much. Uh, ¿Alguien gracias. más iba a decir algo? Sí, teacher, solo me gustaría saber, eh, porque digamos este es el módulo cinco. Eh, principiante, ¿verdad? Pero correctamente, cinco. correctamente. Entonces, entiendo que llega hasta el seis, pero... Quizás eh, no sé cuántos niveles más hay y cuántos módulos comprende cada nivel. Eso me gustaría saber. Eh, eh, sí, muy bien. A, ahorita, sinceramente, no tengo fresca la información de, 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 de cuántos módulos tiene el, el, el inglés intermedio, ¿okay? que es el, 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 siguiente, el siguiente nivel, básicamente. Pero sí, son, no sé si son como 36. Seis módulos en total, me parece. Pero tendría que revisar bien la información para aclararle, ¿ok? Pero ahí, ahí aparece en el manual. Yo lo voy a revisar, ¿ok? Pero sí, son aproximadamente como 36 módulos por todo. O un poquito más. 
creería, ¿ok? Pero tengo que revisar primero para aclarar bien la duda, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Pero sí, pre si, si, si estamos preparados para terminar todo esto, todos los niveles, eh, sí, todos los módulos, sí son varios, son varios meses los que, hay que, los que hay que estar acá, ¿ok? Pero eso sí que es ventajoso, ¿verdad? Estar cada semana con esto. Porque estamos practicando, estamos práctica continua, eso, eso es importante, ¿ok? Muy bien, ¿alguna otra pregunta? Y luego reviso bien la información, Miguel. ¿Alguna otra duda? ¿Preguntas? Estamos claros. Very clear. Ok, perfect. Uh, so, uh, then uh, let's start uh, with the class. So, basically, this is the information, like general information I had for you. Information about the attendance, information about the grades, information about many things, right? about the camera, about everything. So let's start uh, with the class, okay? Let's start with the, with the class, okay? Because the class uh, hadn't started. So in this moment, we are going to start uh, the class, okay? Perfect. So to start, to start the class, let me share screen, okay? To start the class, I want you, I want you to look at this picture, okay? So look at this picture. Take two minutes, okay? Take two minutes and look at the picture. After the two minutes, you tell me what you see on the picture, okay? You tell me what you see on the picture. So take two minutes, look at the picture. So I repeat, the idea is that you tell me what you see on the picture, okay? You can tell me, oh, teacher, I see teacher, boxes, for example, okay? I see yeah. a, a process of logistic. All right, perfect. Logistic okay, thank process. you very much. Okay, but in two minutes, you tell me, okay? In two minutes. By now, just look at the picture, okay? Look at the picture. And then you tell me, okay? In two minutes. Continue looking at the picture. Okay, very good. So if you want to participate, please go to reactions and raise your hand. If you want to participate, go to reactions and raise your hand, please. Okay, so the question is, what do you see on the picture? Okay, Stephanie, what do you see on the picture, Stephanie? Stephanie Manjiva. Uh, the logistic about how the product arrived, declined. Good. When a person use website for shopping. Excellent. I like the opinion. Very good. So that, that's what you see, right? This is what you can infer, okay? You can tell me single things like, I see an airplane teacher, okay? You can tell me that, no problem, okay? Let's listen to Rosa Salgado. Okay, I see that someone is thinking, someone, yes. is, someone is making or drawing. Yes. Someone is doing, someone is uh, packing. Yes. There are two, two people carrying the boxes on the truck. Yeah, yeah. 
there's someone buying the product. Yeah. An airplane and the, the boxes or the chair, the church. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, the boxes, okay? You see yeah. some boxes too, all right? Where they yeah. put the, the products. Very good, yeah. thank you very much, Rosa. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see Sandra Gladys. What do you see, Sandra Gladys? Uh, I see person working. Yes. Uh, I see one airplane. Yes. And many, and many boxes. Many boxes, and right? A person, a person an idea. Yes, a person who is thinking about one idea, maybe. Okay, very good. Who has one idea? Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Sandra Gladys. So, anybody else? Do we have more opinions about the picture? The question is, what do you see on the picture? Okay, 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 okay. Let's listen to Carla. Don't forget to raise your hand, please. Okay, uh, Carla. Okay, um, um, planning project and design, pro production, package, and logistic, and delivery. And delivery, sale. delivery of the product. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's excellent. I like the, the I like the way or, or the or the, the order that you follow to explain. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. Sulma, what are you seeing? Um, if the if, if the production product and distribution product exactly it's, it's just like very clear right like 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 the the, the a production process and the and the distribution process okay thank you very much that's excellent Gloria it uh, could work. Manufacturing company. Ah, a manufacturing yes. company. And sorry. Uh, and processing the order. And processing orders. Okay. Good. Excellent. Uh, and. And trans transfer transferring in the into airport. Okay. And arriving at the store for okay. For selling, for selling, right? For selling the final, the final product. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, okay. Thank you very much for your participations. Okay, for the participations. Now, I have uh, questions. Now, now I have. Uh, this time I have a specific questions. Okay. Uh, look at the first, um, okay, let, let me get a, let me grab a pencil here. Look at the first picture. Okay, so th this is a, a process, right? Okay, a process um, to process the product. Okay, very good. Look at picture number one. Uh, what do you think the position of this man is in the company? Designer. A designer maybe? Maybe. Or engineer. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's an engineer. Okay. What else can you tell me? Do you think he is? Salesman. Sorry? Salesman. Vendedor. Prob yeah, yeah. A salesman, probably. That's right. Do you think he is a general manager? No. Employees. Ah, he's the logistics manager, maybe. Okay. Very good. Manager. manager. Thank, manager. thank you very much. Now look at the lady. What do you think Sec her position Sec is? She's Sorry? Secretary. The, a secretary? No, <laughs> this is design. Ah, is that made? I think she's a designer. That's right. She's a designer. She's a, she's, she's a product designer, maybe, or a project designer, okay? A project designer. Good. Project designer, yes. A project designer. Now, look at this man. What do you think his Production. position is? Production? Production. Ah. Manufacturing, manufacturing, maybe quality manufacturing. control, quality yeah. control, quality, maybe quality quality mm -hmm. production. Yes. Okay. Process. Excellent. Process. And him, he, they have the same position, basically, right? They have the same job. And what about these two? What do you think their position is? Logistic. Logistics. Logistic. Logistics. That's right. Logistics. And what about this man? Delivery, delivery. 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 Look at, 
Look at the picture carefully. The client. The client. Is client. Exactly. This, this man is the customer or the client because he has money. Look, he has money on his hands. Okay. Good. What about this woman? What is her position? Right. 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 Customer. Is that a customer? Are you sure? Do you think? It's a, it's, exactly. It's a saleswoman or probably a, or probably a cashier. Or probably a cashier, right? Yeah. Good. Now, listen. Uh, the name of unit number one, the name of unit number one is manufacturing. Manufacturing, okay? That's the name of unit number one for this for this module, okay? The idea with this activity is to make you think and to make you speak, okay? Two ideas. Idea number one, to make you think, and idea number two, to make you speak, all right? Now let's go to activity number one. But, but I have a question before. Uh, do you have the manual photocopied or do you have it a uh, digital? How do you have the manual? Did you photocopy the manual? No, I have a photocopy. No. Uh, okay, two no, people only... have the photocopy. Only, only on your cell phone, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The the idea is that either either photocopy it or on your cell phone. The idea is that you have it, okay? That you have it at hand. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's photocopied or or virtual, okay? So, but mm -hmm. the idea is that you have it. Okay? okay, ready to ready to use. Very good. Now let's go to the next activity. So listen, uh, in the next activity, we have some questions, okay? Okay, let me, let me go okay. here. Two questions, okay? Uh, question number one is, what do you know about manufacturing? You, okay? What do you know about manufacturing? How does your company manufacture? The company where you work? Okay, so please take a moment and answer the two questions. Okay, you can write the answers. Take a moment and answer the two questions. Okay, you can write the answers. This is on your manual, okay, on the first page of your manual. Okay, two questions, right? What do you know about manufacturing and how does your company manufacture? If you have if you have the manual, okay. If you have the manual, uh, these questions are uh, on page number nine, okay. These questions are on page number nine, activity one, okay. Page number nine, activity one. So please, let's take three minutes and answer the questions. <laughs> If you have any question about something or about vocabulary, don't hesitate to ask, okay? You can ask, you can ask me. I'm here to help you.
Uh, can, you, uh, can you do me a favor, please? When you finish answering the questions, okay? When you finish answering the questions, go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? Go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? When you finish answering the questions, please, okay? I do this because I like to see when you finish. So I see the people who are like ready, okay? For the next activity, okay? So please, when you finish, go to reactions and raise your hand. Okay, click on raise your hand. So let's see, Rosalena, did you finish? Adriana, Sandra, Gladys, yes. did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you for following my instruction. Thank you. Keep the hand like that, okay? Keep the hand like that, okay? Okay, I can see Sulma finished too, right? Thank you, Sulma, for following the instruction of raising your hand. Thank you very much. Teacher, I don't remember the second question, please. Yeah, the second question, uh, let, let me show it here. Let me show it to you. Um, yeah, the second question is, how does your company manufacture? I mean, about the process, right? This question is about the process. How does your company manufacture? Uh, basically, this question is about the process your company follows, okay, to manufacture a product, for example. But, but you can say maybe, uh, my company doesn't manufacture products. We only receive the products. You can say that, okay? It's, it's like probably some companies where you work don't manufacture, okay? So if you don't manufacture, you say, we don't manufacture products. We only receive the products, okay? That's possible. Okay, I can see five people finished. Thank you very much for raising your hand.
uh, in case uh, in case you finished uh, in this moment, you can practice the pronunciation of your answers. Okay. In case you finished in this moment alone, you can practice the pronunciation of your answers. Okay. If you don't know the pronunciation of a word or phrase, I can help you. No problem. Okay. You can ask me. Okay, I'll give you one minute, okay? One minute to finish. One minute to finish. Okay, uh, okay, so basically uh, we have two questions, right? Okay, basically we have two questions, okay? Uh, question number one is, what do you know about manufacturing, okay? Uh, maybe you can say, oh, I think manufacturing is a process uh, to make a product, for example, okay? Or I think manufacturing is a process uh, when some people assemble parts or different uh, components, you can say, right? I'm giving you an example only, okay? And the second question is, how does your company manufacture? And then you explain the process. Maybe you can say um, the, the manufacturing process starts uh, with, the, with an engineer and these, these engineers designs the product. And then another person creates the product and then they, they pack the products in boxes and they send, they send the products to other countries. I'm just giving you examples, okay? So basically on the second question, you need to explain the process, okay? Very good. So are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah? Okay, so before, yes, yes before you share with the class, okay, you, we are going to go to breakout rooms. And in breakout rooms, 
you will practice the equations with your classmates. You will practice the two questions with your classmates, okay? So take turns. For example, if I, in case, I'm just giving you an example, okay? In case I work with Miguel and Adriana, so I ask the questions to Miguel, Miguel asks the questions to Adriana, and Adriana asks me the questions, right? So we made like a circle to practice, okay? The idea is that everybody practices in the group, okay? The idea is that everybody asks and everybody answers the questions, okay? So let's go to breakout rooms and practice the questions, okay? Help your classmates in case your classmates have problems in pronunciation, you can help your classmates, okay? Good. So let's go to practice the questions, okay? Let's take like three or four minutes to practice, okay? So let's go to practice the questions. My, my publicidad and uh, receive receive donation. No, no, no manufacturing. The manufacturing. No. In my case, yes, the manufacturing the product. We manufacturing hair and cloth. Hilo y tela. Oh. In based the line production from the bougie, the raw material, use the machine, mm, finally product, lodges, todo una línea de producción, todo, todo. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. And you, Ophelia? Manufacturación uh, en um, construcción. Um, yes, factura. Facturación. How do you say facturación en construcción in English? <laughs> <laughs> you say, for construcción, you say construction, okay? Construction. 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 Yes, Construction. and for fa and for facturación, you can say invoice, invoicing, invoicing, invoicing. Okay, invoicing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Sandra, you had a question. My company is construction, but uh, mm, no, no, no conozco el proceso que llevan porque yo estoy en el área conta. Ah, okay. Then you can say, you can say, uh, I don't know the manufacturing process. I don't know. I, I don't, don't know, know the manufacturing process. The manufacturing process. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, yeah. continue. Continue, please. Thank you. Okay. So did you finish? What? No, no, no. Ah, no okay, okay, okay. Continue, uh -huh. continue. Uh, se escribo. En el chat. Ok. Le, uh, les Mayra. En el chat. Yes. Y, y ahí nosotros le decimos 
si hay que mejorar algo o, o, o nos da usted ideas. Okay. <laughs> Mayra, what do okay. you know about manufacturing? I think that is the process of creating a product. It's based on design, creation, and marketing. It can be more or less difficult uh, depending on the product. Okay. Um, ¿Quién me pregunta ahora? La segunda. La segunda. Yo le pregunto. Okay. How does your company manufacture? When I when I work manufacturing liquor and another kind alcoholic beverage. We are the largest distributor and importer of alcoholic beverage. For example, wine, champagne, beers, vodka, and whiskey. You are very happy in your work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she is still happy. Okay. And she is still happy. <laughs> Se me nota. Yeah. Uno disfruta donde trabaja. Yes, I see. And you enjoy more than, than normal. Teacher, it's yeah. correct. Eh, we are the largest distributor. Como yes. decir el mayor. Yes, yeah, we are the largest distributor in, on the con in the country. You can say or in the world or in the no, in no. Central America. I don't know. Ah. No, in, in, in the country. In the oh, country, uh, yeah. You can country. say, mm -hmm. we are the largest. Okay. You can say we are the largest. Largest. Oh, okay. Yes. Tenía mis dudas. No, it's okay. This, ah, oh, otra consulta. Cuando yo estaba eh, viendo para poder decir eh, que, es, que en, en el, acerca de manufacturing. Yes. Por lo que... Yo quería decir que todos los productos de la compañía son producidos, empaquetados y distribuidos a través del país. Ok. Entonces, eh, no sé si está bien que el verbo termine en ED. Yes. Cuando uno lo, porque lo estoy diciendo como de una forma. Passive no voice. Sé cómo se, eso. Pas, the, 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 the name of that topic is passive voice. And you started passive voice in module four. In module four. Module three, sorry. I think it was module two or three. I don't remember. It was module three. In module three, uh -huh. you study the passive voice. Yes, and it's okay. Uh -huh. uh, so in this case, you uh -huh. say, tell me the sentence in Spanish one more time, please. What is the sentence in Spanish? Uh, uh, todo el producto de la compañía eh, eh, son producidos, empaquetados, okay, 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 hold on. Okay, hold on. Yes. So in this case, you say all the products are, you use the verb to be, right? Are. All the products uh -huh. are, are. are packed, distributed, and the other verb is? Produced. Produced and produced, okay? Produced. Produced. Exactly. And distrib ¿Cómo se dice distribuido? Distributed. 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 Exactly. Distributed. Distributed. Oh, okay. Distributed. Yeah. Distributed. Ah, uh, okay. Packet produced. Uh huh. Okay. Thanks, teacher. All right. No problem. It's very important. Okay. Okay. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Mayra, how does your company manufacture? My company uh, offers a service, a professional form, form of professionals, uh, because I work in Univo. Mm, at the university. Yes. <laughs> es cierto. Do you work? Jancy Lisbeth, where do you work? <laughs> in Univo. At Univo, really? Quisiera saber si es el alma mater. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> yeah. Bueno, 
In which area do you work? In, in which area do you work? At Univo, right? Uh, I work in payment department. Oh, in I... the payment department. Uh -huh. With, yes. let, let me see if I know you. I think I know you then. So do you work uh, with, uh, what's her name? I, I forgot her name, but in the paying department, it's only you and another person working, right? Yeah. Uh, you and what's uh, her name? My name. My name. No, no. The, the the name of the person who works with you at the paying department. Um, okay. My boss is Wilfredo Romero, and my coworker is Seneda. Yeah, I know Seneda. Yeah, I, I know you then. Yeah, I know yeah. you then. Okay. It's my yeah. <laughs> I know you then. Okay. Entonces te conozco. Okay. Continue. Continue working. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Continue. Ya terminamos. <laughs> Are you finished? Ah, okay. Okay. Perfect then. Yes. Yeah, I know you because actually I work with the INSAFOR program at Univo. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, so I uh, sometimes I go to the paying department for checks. Oh, eh, I make new checks. <laughs> yes, I think. Yeah, I, I, you see, I know you then. Okay. Okay, very good. So uh, you finish, right? Yes. Okay, let's go back then to the main station, okay? Yes. Let's go back to the main station. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Cute babies, Lauren. <laughs> Cute babies. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Only, only two. Only two. <laughs> yes, only, only. Enough, right? <laughs> enough. <laughs> Suficiente, enough. enough. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Yes. Okay, let's see. All right, so uh, so everybody is uh, coming back. Now you practice the questions, right? So very good. Now that you practice the questions, I guess I want to listen to three. I want to listen to three participations. Okay, so let me see. Uh, we will listen to. Let me see to two girls and one boy. All right, two girls and one boy. So let's listen to um, Anna Michelle. Okay, let's see Anna Michelle. Uh, what do you know about manufacturing? Mm, well, um, I think that is uh, the process of make or create a product. Okay, perfect. That's really good. I like the answer. Question two, how does your company manufacture? Well, in my case, uh, my company doesn't manufacture a uh, product because uh, we sell services. Oh, uh, I see. Yes. I see. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Ana Michelle. Can you select a girl, please? Can you select a classmate to answer the questions? A girl. Oh, a girl. Okay. Yeah, a girl. Maybe Sandra Gladys. Okay, Sandra Gladys. All right, let me see. Uh, can you ask her the questions, please? Okay. Sandra, uh, what do you know about manufacturing? Uh, manufacturing is, uh, is a process and uh, create products and uh, logistics, logistics, uh, finally, uh, finally, uh, um, product. That's it. Okay. And how does your company manufacture? Mm, and in my case, is company uh, um, 
constructora in service, in service. Uh, I don't know uh, manufacturing products, manufacturing products. Okay, I see. So Sandra, so you don't manufacture products, you sell services and you work on construction, yes. right? Construction, you said. Yes, okay. Sí. Thank you very much, yes. Sandra. Thank you and thank you, uh, Michelle, right? Okay, so uh, Sandra, can you select a boy, please? A boy. Can you select a boy, a man? Mm -hmm. We have- Darwin? Okay, Darwin, okay. Can you ask Darwin, Darwin the questions, please? Okay. Uh, what Darwin? Hi, Darwin. Hi, Sandra. Uh, what do you do know about manufacturing? Uh, in my case, I know about manufacturing of products of paper because I work at Kimberly Class. Mm, okay. Um, how does your company manufacture? Uh, my company manufacturing products of paper, for example, toilet paper, napkins, uh, quasha tissues, pampers. That's it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you very much. I have an extra question for Darwin. It's, it's, your job is very interesting, Darwin. Okay, I have an extra question for you. Uh, do you know the process uh, to manufacture the paper? <laughs> Darwin? Hello, hello. Uh, uh, do you know the process to manufacture uh, the toilet paper or the, the paper that you make? Do you know yes, the process? Yes. yes, yes. Oh, interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about the process? Yes. Okay. In my company, in my company, they know the the process, the fabrication, the the product, okay. and innovation of the product. Okay, very good. But, but yeah, but, but I mean. The, the, the process to create the paper, like you cut the trees or, or I mean, you cut, you cut the trees or how? How do you manufacture the, the, the paper? Manufacturing the paper. Okay, how, how? You cut how? trees Como. or? Como, uh, how? Uh, by the raw material. Oh, you the... buy. Okay, continue. Uh, Con Continue. By the raw material and the process, the raw material and the, uh, how do you say, uh, moler, digamos. Grind. Grind the raw material. Yeah. And the, and the second part is in the, I, in español, digamos, hay unos secadores enormes que es lo que procesa el, el, ya la materia procesada, la materia eh, prima. tratada, digamos. Ok. Materia prima. Ajá. Ok. Oh, trabajo... interesting. So, uh, ah. basically, you have different machines like to, to, to treat the raw material, like the, but, but you don't cut trees, but you don't cut the trees. Cut the, you cut the trees. Cortan los árboles. Do you cut the trees? Yes, the, the, the raw material is pulpa, the important of Brazil. Oh, it's not, are not the trees from El Salvador? <laughs> no, no, no. It's important ah. of Brazil. Oh, thanks God. Thanks God. <laughs> thanks God. <laughs> Thank you. The Thank pulpa, you. The pulpa of the Amazon? Oh, the Amazon. The Amazon. Oh, the Amazon. The Ama oh, my God. No, the Amazon. <laughs> no, the Amazon. No. Okay. Very good. 
use yes. paper Amazon from the yes. Amazon. It's paper from the from the Amazon forest. The, okay, paper from the Amazon forest. Luckily, <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, the trees come from the Amazon, right? From the Amazon forests. Unfortunately, the trees don't come from El Salvador, little forests, okay? Good, so thank you very much. Yes, we don't have so many trees, so we have to take care of, of our few trees, okay? So thank you very much, Darwin, and thank you for your participations, um, Anna and Sandra, right? Thank you very much, good participations, okay? So let me pass attendance again. Ya me arro la tarde para pasarle asistencia la segunda vez. So let me pass it quickly. All right, let's see. Um, Ada Patricia? Present. Adriana? Present, teacher. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Asalia Melanie? Present. All right, Asalia Melanie, uh, how do you uh, prefer to be called, Asalia or Melanie? What the, ah, okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Darwin? Present, teacher. All right, Flor? Present. Gloria? Gloria? Thank you. Ah, okay, yeah, she's here. Carla? Present. Very good, Margarita? Present. Maria Estela? Present. Mayra? Present. <coughs> Nelson? Present. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Ophelia? Here, teacher. Cosmin? Here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Rafael? Rafael? I'm here. All right, thank you. Here. Rosa? Okay, yeah, it's okay. Uh, Rosa? Present. Uh, Sandra? Present, teacher. Jansi? Present. Zulma? Present. And Miguel? Present. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Okay, uh, thank you. Well, I want to hear, I would like to listen um, to everybody speaking about the two questions, right? Unfortunately, we have to continue with the next activity, okay? So listen. Uh, in the next activity, we have a conversation, okay? So please, I will pronounce the conversation for you. So listen carefully, listen carefully to the pronunciation of the conversation, okay? So okay. listen carefully to the pronunciation of the conversation. If you want, you can repeat, but with the microphone off, okay? So if you want to repeat, turn off the microphone, please, okay? Please. Yeah. Okay, very good. So let's go quickly. Okay. Okay, here we have the conversation. So please listen to the com to the conversation carefully and pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Okay. So let's start with the first part. Anna. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. All right, listen again, listen again. I will start with Anna again. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, 
we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Diabetic, Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. All right, so uh, this conversation is on page nine. Okay, this conversation is on page nine. Okay, so now let me show you the conversation again. Now, look at the conversation and tell me, look at the conversation and tell me, uh, do you have any doubts about the pronunciation of some specific words? Tell me now. What words are difficult for you to pronounce? La enfermedad. Sorry? Diabetes. Ah, okay. Diabetes. Yes. I will <laughs> underline. I will underline and we pronounce in a moment, okay? More words? Slicer. Okay. What else? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. All right. Let me Absolutely. underline. Good. What else? Bubble. Okay. What else? <clears throat> Tick liar. Tick a look. Tick a look. Tick a look. Tick a look. Oh, hold on a second. Yes. Yeah. What else? Mm -hmm. Tin liar. Ah, uh, tin liar. Oh. Yeah, I have it already. I have it. Almonds. 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 Okay. Ginger. Ginger. All right. Consider. Oh, let me see which line that that is. Um, we consider. Uh, we consider. Yeah. Okay. Any other? Hi. It's too, it's too high. It's too high. Okay. Let me get it. Let me see. It's too high. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't find it. Hold on a second. I'm looking for it. Uh -huh. yeah, ah, I, too high. Yeah, I see. Too high here. Too high. Oh, yes. too high. Thank you. Okay. So do we have more? <clears throat> no. Amount. Oh, amount. Okay. The amount. The amount. Okay. Uh, now, please, uh, let's take a moment. Turn off the microphones. Turn off the microphones and let's repeat this specific vocabulary, okay? Let's repeat this specific vocabulary. Let's start with number one. Okay, you, let's repeat the vocabulary three times, okay? Let's repeat three times, but with the microphone off, please, okay? Okay, let's repeat. Absolutely. 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 Can you please, can you please turn off the microphones? Okay, the, the idea is that you pronounce only for you, so we have no interference, okay? So pronounce only for you, okay? Okay, let's do it again. Absolutely. 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 Thick layer. Thick layer. Thick layer. Thick layer. Ice almonds. Slice almonds. Slice almonds. Slice almonds. Ginger. 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 Diabetic. 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 The amount. The amount. The amount. The amount. Too high. Too high. Too high. Too high. Too high. Considered. 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 Bubble. 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 Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look.
Okay, so uh, basically the conversation is on page number nine. The conversation is on page number nine. Okay, listen, we will practice the conversation, but don't change anything. Only practice the conversation, okay? Use the information on the conversation, okay? Don't change anything. Just practice the conversation. Only practice the conversation, okay? I will give you like two or three minutes, okay? So in pairs, in pairs, we will practice the conversation, okay? So let's go to practice the conversation in pairs, like two or three minutes, and then we come back, okay? So let's go to break our rooms and practice the conversations. The conversation, okay. sorry. Okay. So I have, yeah, 10, okay. Okay, let's go to practice. Page nine, page nine. You. Nice, nice to meet you, Gloria. Nice. Uh, let me show the, okay. the screen. Mm. Do you see my screen? I, uh, yes, I, 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 ya lo tengo impreso. Okay. Uh, Gracias. Si gusta, bien, bueno, lo bien, leemos de acá. Así. Este, si okay. gusta, empieza usted sí, y después voy yo. Ajá, Ana. dele. Ok, Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thin layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slime almonds. Sound great, and then finally we are ginger. Sounds great, and then um, I'm Diana. But, but about what people, are people who are, who are diabetic? diabetic, can they eat? It is. I'm not going to it lie. Is. Okay, I'm I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider that customer and we have other products. We have a candy bar right. and bubble. And bu as, as, explain as you yeah. explain us. Yeah, explain us. Uh -huh. Explain us. Okay. okay. Let me okay. check. Let me check the conversation. Yes, it's basically, um, let me see. I want to find it here. Yeah. Uh, would you like to explain us what the manufacturing process is? Would you like to explain it? Would you, yeah. Would you like to explain us, explain us what the manufacturing process is? Okay. Okay. Explain us. Explain us. Okay. Explain us. Yeah, you connect the sounds and you say explain us. Would you like to explain us, okay? Would you like to explain? Exactly. Okay, okay teacher. Hello? Again. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Ana, hoy inicia okay. usted. <laughs> okay. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is now we make our top sale. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Uh, second, we add a thin layer of slime almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people? Who are diabetic? Can they eat it? Eat, eat it? Can um, they eat it? Fun. Yes. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Teacher? Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Can eat they it. eat it? Can they, Can eat, they it? eat it? 
I'm not going to lie. The um, amount of sugar is too high. We consider this those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gym with their sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. A, a look. look. A, a look. look. A, a, a Let's Zero. take Let's, a look. Let's take a look. Let's yes. take a look. Great. Let's take a look. Sorry. Yeah, let's take a look. Sorry, Yancy. Zero. 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 Oh, yeah. Zero. With zero, zero. zero sugar content. Zero sugar zero. content. Zero yeah. sugar content. Ah, uh, for the word chocolate, you say chocolate. 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 Exactly. Chocolate. 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 Yes. And then for for the word, uh, for this word, you say top seller. Top, top seller. seller. Top, top seller. seller. Top seller. And for the for diabetic or diabetic, you say diabetic. Diabetic. Di diabetic. Dia dia diabetic. 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 Exactly. Diabetic. 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 Yes. Okay. Is the slice slice almonds slice almonds slice 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 almonds slice almonds no okay. listen Flor it's not lies it's slice slice lies slice almonds slice lies Slice almonds, okay? Slice, okay. Slice. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Slice it's almonds. A, a, a bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Yes. Okay. So you finish, right? Yes. Yes. All right. So let's go back to the main station. I gave you four minutes. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Ana Michelle, who was your pair to practice? Uh, was uh, Ophelia. Oh, Ophelia. Oh, I think she's coming. Let me see. Yes. Yes, I think she's back. Okay. Okay, uh, so I think uh, everyone is back. So I think everybody practice. Because of time, you want a chair with the class, okay? But I know everybody practice. I visited some groups and I could see you were practicing. Maybe you have some words, okay? Uh, I, 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 could see, I could see that there are some words that are difficult for you to pronounce, okay? For example, the word chocolate. In English, you don't say chocolate. No, in English, you say chocolate. Chocolate, okay? Chocolate, not chocolate. No, it's chocolate, okay? Chocolate. Chocolate. chocolate, chocolate. It's not chocolate. No, 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 no. It's chocolate, 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 chocolate. chocolate. Good. And uh, the other word is top seller. You say top seller, top seller. Ah, uh, you say uh, diabetic for this word, diabetic. Okay. You say the amount, the amount of sugar. Okay. The amount of sugar. All right. Very good. So basically, these words and take a look. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right. Take a look. Let's take a look. Exactly. So basically, I have two questions about the conversation. Okay. Question number one is, uh, so in the conversation, we have two people, right? Yes. Who are the people in the conversation? 
Miss Sandra? Mark. Anna and Mark. 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 Exactly. Mark. Anna and Mark. We have yeah. Anna and Mark or Mark and Anna. It's the same, right? Good. So, one question about Mark. The question is, what are the words, Mark, okay, Mark, what are the words or vocabulary Mark used to, end, to indicate the parts of the process? First, second, first, and first final. second. Exactly. So he used first, second, and finally. Finally. And finally. finally. So, so finally. listen. So listen, this is very important, okay? When we, okay, when we describe a process, just give me a moment, please. When we describe a process, we use some words to add information. For example, we can use first, second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth, <laughs> seventh and blah, 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 okay? And we can use finally. Or you can use next if you want, next, okay? So you can use this vocabulary to explain or to describe the steps of a process, okay? Yeah? For yes. example, for example, imagine you say that the steps, uh, the steps to cook or to make salad, for example, the, the steps to make salad. So you can say, first, cut the lettuce or chop the lettuce. Second, uh, slice the tomatoes. Okay, second. So you're saying first, second, and you can say, and finally, and finally, um, pour some lemon drops. Pour some lemon drops, okay? Finally, right? So this, uh, you use this vocabulary to describe what? a process, okay? You use this vocabulary to describe a process. Very good. And now listen, we have 19 minutes, so we have time for the next activity. So listen, uh, in the next activity, or for the next part, we have, these are the questions I ask you, okay? Um, so listen, in the next activity, this is on page 10. This is on page 10. We have the different words that you can use to describe a process, okay? So for example, uh, you can use um, you can use first, second, third, you can use then, then is like next, okay? Later, after, you can say right after, next, and for the final step, for the final step, you can say finally, right? The last step. Okay, the last step of the process, okay? So you can use first, second, third, then, later, after, right after, next, and finally. Now I say, look, look, in this moment, don't be like, don't, don't think like, teacher, but what is then in Spanish? Teacher, but what is after in Spanish? No, listen, think that this vocabulary is to describe a process. You start, you start with the word first, first, and you finish with the word finally. finally. Yes? So th yes. that's important here. The, the, the important thing is not, is not like to know the words in Spanish. Of course, if you want, you can investigate later, okay? You can investigate later if you want. But in this moment, the most important is to know that you start with first, and you finish with finally. And the rest, you can use them wherever in the, in the process, okay? Las demás pueden usarlas donde sea en el proceso. Then, next, okay? Solo excepto si van en orden primero. Voy a decir esto en español porque es importante, okay? Solo esto, just this, okay? Lo que, si empiezan con first, obviamente lo que sigue es second. Si ya usaron second, okay, no, no, no pueden decir first y luego third de un solo, no. First, second, third, okay. then, next, after. It depends on the, on the steps yeah. you have, okay? It depends on the steps you have. Very good. Now, look, here we have an example. Here we have an example. So take a moment and read the example. Take a moment and read the example.
teacher. Use, use other example. Sorry? Use other example. Um, I don't get you, but use another example for... Cualquier otro, o sea, otro, otro, other example. No, this is the example of the book, right? Yes, but in a moment, in a moment, you will write your example in groups, okay? But this is the example of the of the manual, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, the yeah. Book. yeah the, exa the example of, this is the example of the manual. Okay, let's see, a quick question. Uh, what is what is the process or, or for which product is this process? What do you think? Make cookies. Uh, okay. No, make a Maybe cake. Make it for cake. making a cake. A cake. Uh -huh. Maybe for a cake. Yeah. I think it's for a cake. cake. It's right. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, I think it's for making a cake. Okay, Rosa is right. Okay, very good. It says, right, first, pay attention to this. First, combine margarine, sugar, two eggs, and vanilla. Second, look, the step, look at the steps. Second, separately combine flour, baking powder, and salt. What is baking powder? Any idea? Polvo de hornear. Exactly, polvo para hornear. Levadura, I think, right? If you use this, okay? Third, okay, look. Third, number three, combine both mixtures with milk. Later, four, Chill for one hour. What is chill? Enfriar. Enfriar, exactly. Enfriar or reposar, we say, right? Yeah. Like in, in terms of cooking, you say reposar, okay? Or enfriar. Number five. After, roll the mixture to about a quart inch thick. What is roll? Roll the mixture. Amasar, amasar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's basically it's basically amasar, but with a rolling pin, con un rodo, con un rodo, okay, with a rolling, con un rodillo, right? Yes, exactly. It's like to, to make a pizza, you roll the, the dough, right? Hay que amasar la masa. Yeah, o la aplastan, I don't know, I can say aplastar la masa, <laughs> I think. Okay, so next, it says... Mm, I don't know if there is a cooking term for this. No sé si hay un término específico para esto. I don't know, all right? But, but the idea is to roll, like use a, use a rolling pin and to roll the dough, right? Okay, to roll the, the, the things that you have. Next, yeah. add the cookies and finally bake for 10 minutes, okay? Bake for 10 minutes, very good. So the idea here is, of course, to understand the recipe for a cake, but the idea is to identify the words that you, that we use for a for a process, okay? So that's important here. Very good. Now I ask you. Now I have a question for you. Okay, I have a question for you. We have ten minutes. Okay, do we have ten minutes? Do you think that in ten minutes you can create a process for a product, like working in in groups, not alone? Okay. Is it possible? But you can say, you have to say first, second, later, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Yeah? Yeah. So then let's work, let's work in groups of three. Is it okay in groups of three? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. All right. So in groups of three, you need to think about the process to make a product. And you need to write, you need to write the steps. Okay? Yeah. So it's your own product. I won't tell you the product. It's your decision, okay? It's your decision in the group. You will decide which product you are going to write the process about, okay? Good. So let's go to work in threes. So you are <laughs> 21. So we are going to make seven groups. Okay, so let's take 10 minutes for this activity. Okay, let's go to work.
Pero... <laughs> what product? Quiero ver. ¿Le de comida o acaba de hacer? Una. Un, ¿Cómo se llama? Para una construcción, ¿verdad? Ah, ¿Qué no sé. Ah, sí. Taku. Eh? <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to complicate eh, yourself, right? <laughs> For time. <laughs> you say you say delicious, delicious eggs. <laughs> okay, continue. With vegetables. <laughs> oh yeah. Um yes, cook. Yes, yes. Yes. Cool. Yes. Eggs. Okay. Okay. Maya, first. First. First, uh, oil. Uh, rem remember that you need a verb, okay? You need first. one verb, okay? Uh, after you say first, you need to say a verb, okay? For example, uh, you can say okay. uh, first, okay. first. Add the oil, for example, or, or yeah, first you can say add, add the uh, oil uh, or, uh, or pour the uh, oil. Okay, so you need verbs, okay? Mm -hmm. okay? Okay. First, turn out kitchen. Turn on. Uh, first step. <laughs> yeah, turn on the kitchen or the oh. stove? The kitchen or the stove? Mm. Kitchen. kitchen. The, the, yeah, the, the problem is that when you say kitchen, you are talking about the place. Kitchen uh, is the place, okay? Uh, and stove, okay. stove is where you cook uh, specifically, the uh -huh. stove. Mm, stove. Yeah. stove. stove. It's S-T-O-B-E, stove. Uh -huh. -E. stove. S-T-O-B-E. V-E. 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 Stove. stove. So exactly, estufa. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Mm -hmm. Second. Um, Everybody has to write the 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 process. The process. Okay. So everybody has to write the process. So Gloria, you need to write the process. Okay. Take notes. Okay. I think Gloria has. I think Gloria has problems with the internet, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. It's frozen. It's frozen. <laughs> Gloria, Gloria, yeah. you need to take notes about the process, Gloria. The mask. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, continue. Uh, uh -huh. Second. Gloria, tengo problemas con internet, yes. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, add vegetable to the pan. Come on. So, add, uh, agregar. Agreg add sauce. Uh -huh. Tomatoes. Tomato. Oh, vegetable. Podemos poner. And the. See, add mm -hmm. sauce, cheese. Ah, aquí no sería tomato. Aquí sería así. So, um, salami. And vegetables. ¿Cómo se dice salami? I think it's the same, but let me check. Hmm. I think okay. it's the same, but let me check. Continue, continue. Okay. okay. Ahora, next. Next. Pre, ¿Cómo se dice como precalentar el horno? Pre... Preheat. Preheat. Pre... Ah, ¿sí? Heat. Yeah, heat is like H-E-A-T. Heat. Ah, okay. Preheat. Preheat the oven. Preheat the oven. ¿Y ahora? Yeah, you say salami. In English, you say salami. It's the same. 
Actually, I think it's an English word, salami, okay? Okay. But next, next, ahora, after. Eh, ¿Cómo podríamos decir? Put. ¿Cómo put poner pizza, adentro de la pizza? Pizza in the oven. Uh -huh. On the oven. Maybe you can say into the oven. Into, uh -huh. like into. Uh -huh. Put the pizza into the oven. Okay. Or... Dentro del horno, ok? Into. That's what you mean, right? Like dentro del horno. Sí. Ok. So you say into, ok? Into. Into the oven. Into Perfect. the oven, exactly. Ok. Uh, finally. Uh... Podríamos poner... Eh, ajá, cortar las, las piezas. Eh, como para sacarla, eh, sacar la pizza, eh. sería como, teacher, how do we say sacar? Take out, take ah. out. Take out the pizza. From, and... from the oven, from the oven. Take out the pizza. You can say from the oven. Mm -hmm. From the oven, yeah, and cut and slides and slides. Okay, cut and slide and slice it and slice it, or you can say and make the slides, the slices. Uh, how, 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 do, how, do, how do you want to use a slice as a verb or as a noun? ¿Cómo quieren usarlo? How do you want to use ah? But you say slices, slices, and make oh. slides is different, I, I think. You say make the slices, slices. No sería mejor usar pieces. Okay, yeah, you can use it. Yeah, because it's, it's slices is like rebanadas, she's right. Yeah, slice is like rebanadas, <laughs> and it's different in this case, right? Or you can say the portions, okay? And make the portions. Okay. And, and cut and I cut think. and cut the portions exactly. Okay. Yeah, it looks better. Mm -hmm. Okay. We finish. Oh, excellent! Very good. <laughs> so fast! Oh my God! You can check it out again. Okay. You can check it again. Okay. First, prepare. Uh -huh. eh, vamos a ver si estamos cómo estamos first cut uh -huh. cut the meat cut the meat teacher we Sec prepare a bistec sorry <laughs> we prepare we prepare a bistec a bistec you are ah, you are preparing bistec okay very good it's a yeah good. it's ready <laughs> Okay, let me listen. Let me listen to you. Okay. Uh, first, cut the meat. Okay. Second, Rosalena. Slice the onion and tomatoes. Third, Jancy. Third. No copio, Jancy. I add mustard. Add mustard. Add mustard and salt, salt. and pepper. Pepper. Yo pepper. puse eh, then add the condiments. Oh, <laughs> o sea, okay. dijeron okay. condimentos y yo no sé. Ok. <laughs> Later. Later, marinate for 20 minutes. Ok. Um, after, Rosalena. Put the, put, the, put, the, put the salsa pan in the... In the How do you say cook in the cook in the cook in the cocina? On the stove. On the stove. On the stove. On the stove. On yes. the stove. Uh -huh. okay. Next, put the meat in the saucepan. Put in on side, on both sides. And finally, add the vegetables. And, and serve it. Vegetable and, and serve it. it. And serve it. <laughs> okay, interesting. I can see you are very good cooks. 
You are very good cook. Maria Stella, Maria Stella. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Okay, so okay, let's go back to the main session this time. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay teacher. All right. Gracias, Maria Stella. You're good. <laughs>All right. Well, I hope, I really hope everyone finished. So did everyone finish? Did everyone finish? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, yes, everyone finished. Okay, that's excellent. That's really good. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, it's time, all right. I, I stole two minutes from your time already. So uh, tomorrow we will have the time to present, okay? I will give you a space at the beginning to go with your group and, and practice the pronunciation, okay? And then you will present to the class, okay? You will present your process to the class tomorrow, okay? So everyone, thank you for connecting today. It's a pleasure to meet you, okay? Realmente ha sido un placer conocerles y espero nos sigamos viendo en las clases, okay? I hope to see you during the classes. Pasaten. So, sorry? No. Pasaten hey. now. Oh, oh, yeah, the attendance. Uh, actually, I passed it already because I, I took notes about the names. Aquí ah. Yeah, I, I passed the attendance. When you were on the, when you okay. were on the, on the group, I took notes about the names, okay? So it's okay, don't worry. I passed the attendance Teach line. Sorry. See you tomorrow. You didn't see, okay? Yeah, okay, thank you. you for everything. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night Bye. and take care. Tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Teacher. Bye. 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 Yes, what is that a question? Uh, yeah, sorry. what is the question? Yes, now, no. let me make observation. Yeah, tell me. Okay. Um, in the field class, and the team has found, for me, a, a other a difficult uh, for the inst instruction. Okay. Because uh, I'm still difficult for for listen and okay. understand. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, and for me, it's more difficult. I okay, understand so. it better, but, but it's, it's, it's leading. Okay, yes. let's do something. Hagamos algo entonces. Um, so, pues, lo que puedo hacer es tal vez darlas un poquito más lento, y si no comprende, tal vez me puede decir, eh, me puede decir más o menos de qué trata lo que vamos a hacer, so I repeat for you, okay? Yes, but uh, uh, no, not only me, uh, other, uh, other uh, classmen. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you very much, Nelson. Gracias. Realmente aprecio esta observación. Okay. Porque eso es muy importante. Así yo no me doy por enterado que todos comprendieron la instrucción. Okay. Lo hago un poquito más lento y tal vez de una forma más comprensible. Okay. Yes. The me is is a problem. The, the listen. Yes. It's, it's difficult. For me. It's okay. Don't worry. I think for for many students, is is the listening is a problem. Okay. Okay. Thank it's you, okay. Teacher. Thank you very See much you for your observation. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Goodbye, bye. everyone. Bye bye. bye, bye. Solo bye. se queda, solo le, solo se queda la persona de la sesión. Okay. ¿Quién es? Who is it? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So bye. good night. Bye bye. bye. Good, good night. night. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> no es cierto. You're trying to hide. Okay. Okay, so uh, Melanie, basically Hi, this space is for you, okay? So, adelante, go ahead. I don't know if you um, have any, any questions about the class or about pronunciation, about vocabulary, I don't know. Eh, mismo problema de con, Nelson. con el compañero, ¿verdad? Que, yes. Hay, mo hay momentos que no, no capto, ¿verdad? Porque va como un poquito más rapidito. Pero eh, sí, 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 le entiendo al final, ¿verdad? Pero sí me cuesta un poquito. Ok, entiendo. Porque yo no puedo mucho. Ok, entiendo. ¿verdad? Estamos en un proceso, estamos en un proceso, ¿ok? Ajá. Entonces, eh, sí, sí me gusta este como, como lo hace, ¿verdad? Pero sí un poco más despacito. Eh, Y sí, cabal, lo que dice Nelson, eh, la explicación, ¿verdad? Como al final. 
y si alguien pues no entiende, pues que lo puede decir en español, en español tal vez no todo, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. sí, un poquitito por lo menos. Al menos en las instrucciones. Ajá, sí, cuando okay. uno, porque yo por ejemplo, yo soy un poco así como, que casi no digo, ¿verdad? Pero sí, sí le entiendo, al final le entiendo, ¿verdad? Lo que, uh -huh. lo que dice, yo casi no lo puedo hablar, no lo puedo pronunciar, pero estoy aprendiendo. Esa es la es sí, idea. Sí, pero sí le capto lo que dice. O sea, okay. yo, yo, yo le entiendo, ¿verdad? En algunas palabras que no le entiendo, pero después la reúno y ya, ya le entiendo lo que usted está diciendo, ¿verdad? Porque sí, sí me cuesta bastante, me cuesta bastante la pronunciación. Eh, la verdad que es, estoy aprendiendo, primera vez que yo me he puesto a estudiar ya este, este idioma, ¿verdad? De, de lleno, por decirlo así, porque no he tirado la toalla. Al principio, pues quise hacerlo. Pero ya, o sea, es algo que me gusta y que quiero aprender. Excelente, ok. Muy bien. Sí, eh, básicamente, lo, lo, sí. Bueno, solo quiero hacer una pregunta antes de todo. El maestro sí. que tenía en el módulo anterior les hablaba un poquito en español, en las instrucciones. Sí. Les cambiaba un poquito. Sí. Ok, ok, muy bien entonces. Sí, porque la, la idea sí. es, lo, lo, lo primero que podemos hacer es, porque sí, a mí me importa que todos entiendan lo que van a hacer también, es muy importante para mí, ¿ok? Vaya, lo, lo que podemos hacer es básicamente al principio, podemos revisar algún vocabulario que es importante para comprender instrucciones, ¿ok? Es el paso número uno. Y luego, en caso que no comprendan alguna instrucción, a veces me pueden decir, ok, no, no, no comprendo lo que dijo. O si yo siento que la, la, la explicación de la actividad que van a hacer es muy difícil, yo puedo cambiar en ese momento, que okay? yo voy a valorar si la actividad amerita de que se la explique en español y lo puedo hacer, ¿ok? okay. En el caso de instrucciones yes. nada más, ¿ok? En el caso de, de algunas, no, no, quizás no todas. Uh -huh. Quizás no todas, porque la idea al final de eso es también que, le, que el oído se les vaya acostumbrando a, a escuchar inglés, ¿ok? Sí. Y a través sí, de eso también es, van a ir desarrollando su, su, su habilidad de escuchar, de audición, ¿ok? Exacto. Tu comprensión en audición. Pero sí, podemos hacer la excepción para, por supuesto, para que todos se entienda bien qué es lo que van a hacer todos, ¿ok? Sí, está bien. Okay. Son tipos diferentes porque estamos acostumbrados al teacher, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, bueno, poco a poco uno se va acostumbrando. Y lo interesante es que, que vamos a aprender, ¿verdad? Y no depende del teacher, o sea, de si es fulanito, ¿verdad? Sino el interés que uno tiene, ¿verdad? En aprender, ¿verdad? Así que yo pues le agradezco, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, y pues me siento contenta eh, con usted. Espero okay. poder aprender y, y comprenderle eh, rápido, ¿verdad? Porque sí, habla un, poquito, habla, habla un poquito rápido, entonces cuando habla así bastante rápido es cuando uno no le capta mucho. Sí. Pero, pero sí, sí se le entiende, porque yo le entiendo. Okay. Yo que sí. no puedo mucho, tengo compañeras que sí saben muchísimo, ¿verdad? Eh, pero, pero yo soy de las que menos saben. <risa> sí, de, de hecho, sí, por eso les, dije, les decía al principio. Sí, quizás, este, sí, yo, yo siento, yo, yo por eso les decía que si sienten que a veces como que voy un poquito rápido hablando en inglés, porque yo entiendo que todo está en nivel principiante, ¿ok? Y que tengo que hablar lento, pero a veces, por la costumbre quizás a veces me pasa un poquito, me pasa un poquito, pero la idea es que si, 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 si ven que ya voy demasiado rápido, que me hagan observación en el momento, si es posible que me corten, no, no, no importa que me corten, ¿ok? Que si puedo bajar un poquito la, la, tal, tal vez la velocidad. Excuse me, teacher. You're going too fast, ¿ok? Re y yo le, repeat, yo le puedo... Please, repeat, ah, exactamente. Please, o me pueden decir, can you repeat the instruction, please? Y yo con gusto lo hago, ¿ok? No hay ningún problema. I will be really happy to, okay. to do it, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, muchas gracias. Ok, un gusto servirles. Gracias, teacher. Ok, thank you very much for staying. I don't know if you have any questions about vocabulary maybe or pronunciation or everything is okay for today? Tengo que Todo practicar bien. realmente. Todo okay. bien, sí. No, sí la entendí. Sí la entendí la, la pronunciación. Eh, y lo que hago yo, pues, que... Sí, mm -hmm. yo lo que hago es anotarlo ahí, a la par de la palabra, cómo lo pronuncian para poderlo yo después pronunciarlo, porque si no se, se olvida también, ¿verdad? Okay, perfecto, sí, cualquier, sí. Ajá, cualquier duda que tengan, aunque no sea en la sesión privada, estos solo son 10 minutos, yo entiendo, y tenemos uh -huh. 40 horas, 
no duden en escribirme. Si necesitan ayuda en algo o apoyo en algo, escríbanme. Tal vez no les conteste al que... momento, pero sí en su momento yo les voy a contestar con gusto y les puedo... Les Solo puedo, que ahí en el, en el grupo aparecen varios de inglés corporativo, no sé cuál es el suyo. Les voy a mandar mi nombre. Ah, de hecho, se me olvidó. Siempre me gusta a mí que se presenten todos para guardar el número y saber quién es quién. Ahorita hablando de eso, pero mañana al principio yo se lo voy a... Bueno, les voy a escribir al grupo que se presenten para así tener el nombre de cada quien y yo me voy a presentar sí. también en el grupo. Aunque ya me había presentado, pero... Ay, en el caso tuyo hasta ahora te agregaste, ¿verdad? También. Sí. Yes. Sí. Ah, ok, so, lo voy a hacer otra vez entonces para que tengas mi número y le voy a pedir a todos que se presenten para conocer los nombres de todos y el número de todos porque a veces hay que escribir mensajitos directos, ok? Sí, así es. Ok, ok, okay Melanie. Teacher. Ok, thank good you night. for staying. Ok, good night and take care. Good night. Bye. Ok, bye bye.